Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com, Instagram, ERW underscore plans, Etsy, ERWplans.etsy.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add a front cover page insert and a flip out key to your passion planner. For some reason, and I don't know why, I thought I had already done a video on this and apparently when I was talking to some people recently, I found out I didn't do just a separate video. I've done this um, as part of other videos. So today we're gonna uh, do this and I'll go over the things we're using. Uh, we have our tools for today, pencil, E6000 glue, which I've used many times in videos, uh, the vertical key from my shop, uh, regular old printer paper, uh, craft paper, a T-square, and of course, passion planner. So I'll move that aside for a second. I'll talk about what I did before we started the video, and then we'll talk about uh, how to install it. So this was one of those 24 by 24 sheets of craft paper when I got it. Um, what I did, I took my passion planner here, and I took my paper, I lined up the top of the computer paper with the top of the white area insert paper here. Okay, I tra and then I traced it out. Okay, I made it a little bit bigger than the, un the paper underneath, but in general, I've traced it to fit the cover page here, the white part of the cover page here. So once I did that, I measured out the width of my key sticker, which this obviously isn't the, this is more than the width of the key. The key is about 80 millimeters. So I then took my craft paper, traced out on the reverse side here. Um, I traced out my template that I had made, like so. And then I added about 90 millimeters of width over here, so I'd have a little bit of a border around it. I took an exacto with traced it with pencil, cut it out with my exacto knife. And what we're going to do now is install the paper. Now there's two ways you could install it. You can install it with the design side down, so that when it's closed, you see this little bit of a design here. And when it's flipped open, you just don't see any design at all. I want to do it the exact opposite. I want to see the design here. And then when it's closed, I won't, I'll just have this part here and I could put other, you know, stickers on it that would usually go on the cover of my planner, that kind of thing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our E6000 glue. I'm going to make a decision to have my seam of my paper in, I want to say about five millimeters, give or take. I'm not measuring it, not being super fancy with it here. And I'm just going to do this right along the edge of the white paper. put some in the center to help hold it. I like to do a big X across the center. You can put it in the center however you want. I've seen people do fun things like spirals. Uh, not in like, you know, too worried about how it looks in the center here. Just as long as it's enough to kind of hold it down. Okay. Now, like I said, we're having design side out. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm lining it up the edge of the cover here and here. Pushing it down. Make sure it's pretty even to that white page. 
press it all the way out, like so. Okay. Now, if you were if you weren't going to do the flip out key, if you were just going to have a uh, paper a liner in here, a page liner, then you would trace this to this size, cut it out with little corners, as I showed you here, and then you would just glue it in and you'd be done. We're adding a flip out key today. So uh, you can also prepare this before you glue your page in. So it planned about approximately five-ish millimeters in all sides. And because it's sticker paper, we're just going to push it right down. You might want to add, a, like, use some binder clips or something to clip this down while we wait for it to dry. I'm just going to keep pushing on it. Do not close your planner while you're waiting for it to dry. If you get any little leaks out like that happened, which happens to everybody, then what's going to happen is this page is going to get stuck to this. And while, you know, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, it kind of defeats the purpose. You could also, if you didn't want to use this page, put some color in something here, put a coloring page here and glue this down, by the way. But we're not going to do that today. And then I'm going to fold it back in to the line of the white paper. And make sure those corners don't show. If you are not using a craft store grade paper, and this, you can see this is pretty thick here. Um, if you're using a thinner paper uh, for your inside cover, if you've printed something off on your printer, like a coloring page or whatever, and you're doing this flip in, I strongly recommend reinforcing this seam on the inside and on the back with some washi tape. But if you're using a heavy kind of construction paper like this, this will last. My one I did last year is still holding up pretty well. So Once that's dry, that is how it'll look. So when I'm doing my planning, I can have my key right here for while I'm planning. And then when I'm done planning, I can tuck it away. And that is how you add an interior liner with a flip out key to your passion planner. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and also take time to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we go live every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Mountain Time, but we also do occasional mini video drops in, during the week. So the best way to get notified of those new vi mini video drops is to subscribe. Uh, thank you again for watching and stay tuned for the next video.